welcome back now i'm going to show you the registration and uh, login system for this i will actually go here in the terminal new terminal and here i will say here i will say composer require laravel slash breeze hyphen hyphen dev cls and here i will say php artisan breeze colon install press enter and now uh, we will actually select the blade so i will say blade mode support no so we have select paste right so i will say here zero all right we have installed laravel breeze successfully now if i go here if i refresh here you can see we have login and registration system and if i go to the browser here you can see in the resources in the views we have here dashboard also right a new file here you can see um, a new view and we have some layouts here you can see we have auth here okay and uh, that's it so We'll go for the dot env and everything is okay now. All right. So now we can actually go for the registration. So let's go here and go for the registration. And the name, let's say, will be yamin. Email will be yamin at gmail.com. Password. Register. You are logged in. Now let's uh, log out and register one user, one more user, and let's say Tanvir, Tanvir at gmail.com. Password go for the register. Here you can see you are logged in. We have registered to user, right? So let's go here and refresh. Here you can see we have registered to user. But uh, here you can see our uh, both user have uh, the same type, right? User. So I'm going to uh, edit here and I'm going to set here admin for the uh, yamin. Okay. Press enter. Submitted. Now our, we have two user, admin and user, normal user. But if I go here, if I go for the login, So I'm going to actually check it. Remember, login. Here you can see now I'm actually logging in the dashboard. But let's say I want to log out and log in as admin. So I will say yamin at gmail.com. Login. Here you can see I'm in the same dashboard, right? But we should, uh, I mean, we should create separate admin dashboard for the admin, right? We have actually uh, done the registration and login system. I mean, we can actually register the user and we can log in, right? So we have to actually create separate dashboard for the admin, right? So we'll actually show it in the next video. So yeah, see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.